It's important to make a good impression when you are trying to impress a girl. Unfortunately, lots of guys miss the mark. They either go in too strong or they don't put in enough effort. Men tend to make common mistakes when they are trying to look attractive in front of a girl and, well, they end up turning a girl off. If you want to be on top of your game and go from a ladyless man to a ladies man, then get ready to learn what you should not do in the dating game. So today's video, I'm going to school you in the worst mistakes that guys make when they are trying to look attractive in front of girls. Here we go. Wearing clothing that is too tight. You might think it's sexy, but even if you do have a 10 out of 10 body, clothes can still be too tight. Girls like to see a little bit of muscle, but any more, and it doesn't leave them wanting more. They want to have something to look forward to, and that thing that they are looking forward to is taking off your shirt and being surprised. Take my advice, because I know you guys trust me. Ditch the tight clothes and wear something that fits you right. Agreeing with everything a girl says. When a guy does this, it leaves a girl thinking, does he have his own personality? You might think that you're being a gentleman by agreeing with everything she says. To a lady though, it looks like you are just weak and not attractive in a lady's mind. She wants to know what you think and she wants you to challenge her. Basically, she kind of wants a sparring partner, just obviously don't knock her out. Buying shoes that don't suit you. I get it, you love basketball or sandals and maybe you have some boat shoes, but do they suit you? We have all liked something that turned out to not suit us, shout out to my 2000 tank top collection. We might have worn it for a while thinking we looked amazing until we caught our reflection in a shop window and thought, oh my, what am I wearing? Well, the same goes for shoes. Not all shoes will suit you. Your shoes also need to match your outfit. Now, if you do need help, ask a friend or a shop assistant. It might just be time to reinvent your style. Wearing pleather instead of leather. The worst thing about pleather is how it's not breathable, like at all. Girls might wear pleather sometimes, but they don't like it when guys do. Guys typically don't wear many leather products, so if they only have one and then the girl finds out that it's pleather, well, that's it. And if you are considering going down the leather path, at least invest in the real deal and avoid those nasty knockoffs. Doing up all your buttons. There is a time and place for this. If you are going to a very formal occasion or you are at work, then sure, do up all your buttons. If you are with friends or out on a casual date, you can undo the first button. Honestly, when guys have their top button done, I think, can you even breathe? Relax, unbutton and show a little bit of neck. Or not doing up enough buttons. Now we face the complete opposite problem. Did you notice that when talking about the last point, I mentioned only undoing the first button? That's because if you undo too many buttons, things can get a little bit out of control. Girls want to see some of you, but not all of you. And if you are on a beach, yeah, sure, undo your buttons. But if you are out shopping, then make sure they are done up properly. Basically, there's a time and a place for everything. And it's your job to ask, is this the time and place? Trying to be funny instead of just being funny. We all have our own unique sense of humor. Everyone is funny, and it's just that some people are funnier than others. Something that is not sexy at all is when someone is trying to be funny. It's so obvious when someone is doing this and everyone else is just kind of forced to sit there and fake laugh. It can be something you do when you are nervous but rein it in, or you might ruin your chances. Just let your natural funny side come out and see how a girl reacts. Wearing trousers that are too long. I'll be honest, there isn't really an excuse for this anymore because, well, we have so many choices. Trousers now come in so many sizes. Wide leg, short leg, skinny leg. Honestly, the list really does go on. Plus, there are tailors everywhere that can take your pants up. When your pants are too long, they drag along the ground and they pick up dirt and also absorb all the puddles. This makes you look messy, which is not a look that girls find attractive. Ignoring how important quality fabric is. Fast fashion sells us low quality fabric. When you are on a date though and a girl touches you, high quality fabric, well, this can really seal the deal. You might be thinking, yeah, right? 
But it's true though, because it tells the girl a lot about you. It shows that you care about your look, what you wear and where you buy your clothes from. And I'm not saying all of your clothes have to be super high quality, but if you buy enough for dates and they see these high quality clothes, well, girls will be impressed. Being a social media stalker. Everyone, come on, admit it, we all do a little bit of social media stalking, right? But I'm here to ask you not to take it to the extreme. There is nothing worse for a girl than being on a date and a guy saying, how is your cousin Jade? The girl is left thinking, how does he know about Jade? What's going on? After some time thinking about it, she will realize that he stalked her on social media and found out everything about her. The fun part of social media is getting to know each other, but don't ruin it by stalking her. Sure, checking in to see what she is doing is fine, but try to stay away from full-on FBI work. Wearing transitional lenses. Wearing glasses can be such a hassle, I definitely get that. Which is why people use transitional lenses, which helps transform your glasses from day inside to outside. They don't look good though, and a pair of prescription sunglasses would just suit you so much better. Being snobbish. No one likes it when someone makes them feel as though they are not worth anything. This is why being snobbish is the absolute worst thing that you could be. So instead, try to be down to earth and I swear you will appear a lot more attractive. Having threadbare underwear. Why do guys do this? If your underwear is down to literally two threads, replace it. There is nothing sexy about old underwear. Calling a girl babe. Girls call each other babe, but they don't want a guy to call them that. So try to avoid using it and instead use their name. It helps create a stronger connection between you both as well. Your tie being too thin. Guys, buy a thicker tie. If you have to wear a tie, then it looks better if it's on the thick side. Thin ties remind us of teenage guys at school. Not knowing when to end a conversation. Knowing when to end a conversation or move on to a different topic is a skill which you need to master. Girls will get bored if you just go on and on about the same thing. They want to talk about a little bit of everything. Have some conversation topics lined up so that you can discuss some different things and don't forget to ask her questions about herself. Wearing a very deep V. Honestly, I would go as far as saying no deep Vs. They have a place in history, but not in the present. Girls don't find them that sexy anymore unless maybe Harry Styles is wearing one. Try some different styles of t-shirts and jumpers to see what suits you. Wearing an ill-fitted suit. Now that tailors exist and, well, they have done for many years, there really is no excuse for an ill-fitted suit. Find one that you like and then take it to a tailor for you to alter. A suit is the ultimate sex symbol for girls, so it's worth getting it right for sure. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos for tips and tricks on how to be an unforgettable guy. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.